today on The Real. On Girl Chat, roller coasters. So you got on the roller coaster with the baby? Yes. That ain't a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> and we're on Ghost Patrol. That's right, we're checking out your Instagram. Because Insta Slam is back. If you ain't got no onesie, then you ain't living. I'm right there with you. <laughs> Plus, how to pamper your man. How are you feeling, Alante? Heavenly. Jeez. <laughs> the real. to recognize that <clears throat> today, March 8th, is International Women's Day! Yeah. It is a day to celebrate the economic, political, social, and cultural achievements of all women out there. Yeah. Yeah. Women out there. I think it's amazing, don't you guys? Absolutely. I do too. Women are phenomenal. They are, we are. I'm a woman, that's why I can I say know. that. I know, I'm gonna pat you on the back. Phenomenal woman. You. In the words of Maya Angelou. <laughs> I think it's only fitting that we get right into girl chat. Yes. Ladies, yes. are you with me? My yes. Yes. <laughs> I'd like to begin by Lonnie calling you out on something. Ooh. Yes, friend, you. Because last week on girl chat, you were very vocal about something we were discussing. Roll the tape, please. What is this? Did you do roll coasters? No. No? Ever. <laughs> no, I just don't do it. Really? Lonnie, Lonnie, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm being serious, Lonnie. Wait. You know I have good suggestions, okay? You've never experienced life no. until you've gone through a really scary roller coaster. That, and I'm not gonna be doing that, okay? Lonnie, you're not being fun. It's me so fun. and my braids are not going on a roller coaster, Jeannie Ma. Jeannie Ma. <laughs> so with that, you can only imagine my surprise when on Instagram a few days later, you guys, I see this picture. <laughs> You caught Friend, there. I want you to smell my breath when I say this. You are a hypocrite. <laughs> no, she I'm tried. not. Okay. Why did you get on that roller coaster? Get, okay. Uh, Tamara and I was at the Disney Dreamers Academy. Shout out to the Dreamers. Yes. You guys are great. Yes. We Thank went you, there. Steve Harvey, for everything that you do. Yes, and um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, during breaks, we were able to go to the park. Mm -hmm. Aiden, it was his first time getting on a roller coaster, mm -hmm. and I said, I'm not getting on a roller coaster. He looked at me, he said, purple. He called me purple. <laughs> he does call purple, purple. you get on a roller coaster, too. And I was like, oh, and so, <laughs> that's why I got on the so roller coaster. you did coaster. it for Aiden. Oh, really? awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you did it for the kids. Okay. Okay. Look at my face, though. I was not feeling it. Wait, hold on, hold on. So you got on the roller coaster with the baby? Yes. That ain't a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> she did. You did get on another one, Lonnie. Unfortunately. You got on the. It was the expedition Everest. Whatever it, it, it was. was. Yes. It was the one that Everest. goes. Is it a backwards. real one? Look at oh, the. Now that's was the real. I was really so mad. I was mad. Pissed at me, you guys, because I wanted her, like Jean said, I really wanted her to experience. Yes. Did you like a it when it was coaster? done? No, she she hated no. me and she hated me. No, it everybody. goes, it goes, you go in the dark and then it stops and it goes backwards. Yes, and so. I said, Tamara Hauser, you didn't tell me it goes backwards. You guys, it was it was really dark, right? And I, yeah. I wanted I wanted to see uh, uh, Lonnie, Lonnie's, face. She, Lonnie's yeah. face. All I saw, you guys, she had <laughs> What? What? Her eyes were this big. She was like, you didn't tell me we were gonna go backwards. I was laughing no. so hard, but she didn't think it was that funny. I mean, no, look at the it picture. Wasn't funny. You and it I was had your funny. hands up. Yes, you guys. Yeah, they had a great time, but no. no. You guys, it's not even a roller coaster that goes upside down. It's it's not even, it's for, it's for 
kids, Lonnie. Oh, Lonnie, are you it's, serious? I told y'all I don't do roller coasters, even if it's a baby roller okay, coaster. You know what I'm saying? Mm, so that I was it. Proud of but you I did. did it for Aiden. I'm so right. proud of you. That was for you, Aiden. So, oh, you love you. Um, Jeannie, just yes. so you know, when you do stuff for the kids, you're not a hypocrite. That's Thank called you. sacrifice. That's true. That is true. But, I consider myself 37 going on 17 at times, and I want you to go on a roller coaster with me, friend. See, going on a roller coaster at Disneyland or Disney World is different than going on a great adventure. That Thank is you. a totally different roller Thank coaster. Thank you. I want to take her to Six Flags. Yeah, no, I want to go. I want to go. Don't even think about it. No. I know you producers are right now thinking about it. Don't even think about it. You're to be honest, I you're can tell that that roller coaster isn't really legit because her braids weren't even flying. Yeah. No. no, they were right here. No. Like, they just, they just pins sat all right over. Here. The pins are still all over Disneyland right now. You said body pins, all over. body <laughs> pins everywhere. Like the I witch from WV. <laughs> yeah. You are a lot of fun around Disney World. We went to Epcot. Oh, yeah, yes. we saw some fireworks. Yeah, I tried Aww. to drink around the world. I only got to two cities. They had a beautiful oh, no. picture. They got a beautiful picture. Did you give it to them? Of Which you one? and Adam when the fireworks. No. And they Oh, I did it. At the I exact that time. Look, the, oh. There's that one. And that was all. Oh, Araya was a trooper. Araya was she my was little so uh, Minnie Mouse. Aiden had so much fun because this is the first time he's a little bit more aware. Yeah, he, right. yeah. yeah, he knows yes. right. He, Look at that. He wasn't. He was over me taking pictures because I think I have a little bit more fun than my kids do yeah. at, right. at Walt Disney World, but right. that's fine. But he loved the safari ride. Remember the safari yeah, ride? Yeah, the safari Animal ride. Kingdom? Oh, and he's yeah. the Lion King. Oh, come yeah. on, Simba <laughs> pictures. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He lying, <laughs> baby <laughs> king. Simba, your son. No, for so, real, we had a blast. <laughs> Once and again, thank you to Disney yeah, and the Disney amazing. Dreamers. Oh, my God. That was so cool. We had a great time. So. It really, really was. And it was really for the kids, too, to mentor and to talk to them. So it was a good thing to Aww. do. Yes, it was. And I, I do it again. Next time, you guys, we, I, I, I know. I know. We're coming. Yes. We are coming. It's so much fun. Kids. Good. Yes. So Disney was super exciting. But I'm also really excited that there's going to be a Ghostbusters remake coming out this summer. <laughs> oh, an all-female cast. I'm obsessed with that movie. Me, too. Look at them. They, they ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> well... <laughs> The trailer has finally come out, but it's caused a little bit of controversy. Some people are saying that the film comes off as racist because the three white Ghostbusters are scientists, while comedian Leslie Jones, who's hilarious, plays a New York City subway worker. I mean, I didn't think it came off as, as racist, but, you know, it got people talking. <laughs> Leslie Jones took to Twitter to fire back at the haters. She said... Regular people save the world every day. So if I'm the stereotype, then so be it. We walk among heroes and take them for granted. So Adrian, do yeah. you feel like there's a problem, though, with minorities being typecast in, in Hollywood? I absolutely think there is a problem. I think that, from what I understand, the original had a similar situation. There were three white and one black, and I mm -hmm. believe the black guy was... Ernie Hudson. Yes, but what did he play? What's, what was his character? He was like, um, I never saw Ghostbusters 1. <gasps> she's, she, come on now. I'm not, she's okay, I'm gonna are you kidding? Honest? You have never said be Ghostbusters. Da -na 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 -na. Guys, I'm just not into okay. these kind of movies. For the original, first of all, this is a remake, everybody. Yes. In the original Ghostbusters, the, there were the three scientists and Ernie yes. Hudson at the beginning was supposed to be smarter than the first three. Mm -hmm. And that's why he took the job. This is Ghostbusters fact, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and um, he said when he originally took the script, his uh, character started at page six. When he got on the set, his character started at page 68. Whoa. And it was like a layman. And so he had took half of his quote, everything, and they changed the character. Now. This is a remake, so I believe that based on the remake, that's the reason why they gave Leslie, like, the everyday person. And he was black, so, you know, mm -hmm. it was a female, so she's black. And I just want to give a shout-out to Leslie yes. because we've been doing this comedy game yes. for a long, long time. time. This is her shot. She's doing yeah. great on SNL. Yeah. So I want to say that, yeah. just like the original, the remake... When you're dealing with stars, they change up. The reason why I say that is because I have a movie coming out. It's mm -hmm. called Mother's Day. And you change. And no, my character <laughs> is not the starring character, uh -huh. okay? I mean, she's in a movie, The, the Ghostbusters, mm -hmm. with Melissa McCarthy and yeah. Kristen Riig. Those are the stars. Mm -hmm. So they usually give the star of the movie the better part. So I don't think that 
you it's know, about her color. yeah, it's about yeah. her color. I think in this case, it's about the role. It's just like with me. I'm in a movie. It's gonna be Julia Roberts, Kate mm-hmm. Hudson, Major, J- uh, Jason Sudeikis. What you think Lonnie Love's character is gonna be? What's your you character? Know? My character is a mother that helps Jason Sudeikis, but it's not. You know, I, I don't think it's necessarily about the racist. What I like that Leslie did is she changed the so-called negative to a positive yes. by saying, you know what, this is an everyday person and I'm okay with that. Yeah. And then her next movie, she'll be able to stop. I'm clearly going to have to see Ghostbusters. <laughs> you yes. <laughs> it's amazing. You'll love well, it. speaking of judging people on their appearance, rapper Iggy Azalea has been speaking out about uh, people who get plastic surgery in an April interview for magazine Elle Canada. Now, Azalea, who has admittedly gotten breast augmentation and a nose job, said that people should be more accepting of those who choose to get work done. She went on to say, all these women, if they had 10 million in their account tomorrow, I dare them to not change one thing about themselves or at least think about it. And there's nothing wrong with that. So, Tamara, yes. do you agree with Iggy's claim? <laughs> well, <laughs> you guys know that I am a fan of you do what's right for you. For you. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, but I know for me, I, I, I'm just afraid. I'm afraid to get plastic surgery because I'm afraid I'll, I'll mess up my face or something. <laughs> but there are people who do it, like, you know, flawlessly. And I know that I'm a little bit OCD in just real life, so if I change one thing, I want to change another, blah, blah, blah. But... I'm a total believer of reconstructive surgery. So after you've had a baby, things start to go a little bit south. Yeah. Yep. You things things start to hang back. in your lap a little bit. Dead stomach. Yeah, you may want to like tighten it up, you know, a little bit. Yeah. But ultimately, you have to do what's right for you. If it's gonna make you happy, just don't be obsessive about it. I, yeah. I believe everything in, in in moderation. And if it's gonna make you happy, okay, choose me. Too different to me. She doesn't look. Is that? It doesn't look Is that, that much a before different. and after picture? Like, it looked like she just changed makeup artists. <laughs> no, there's nose. definitely a... No, yeah. there's definitely nose. a nose. I thought she was really pretty really? before. Oh, yeah. well, wait, I'm sorry, which one is the before? Which one is that? Yeah. No shade. That- I, I, <laughs> well, I think, no, what you're saying, though, is that she didn't need to in your eyes because it looks she's great so on beautiful. both ends, which I agree with you. I, th- I like From the what way I she understand, her, like claim she is, her, her claim is... That she had an accident when she was younger and I guess broke her nose. Yeah. So it created, the bone was in the wrong place. So she got it back to what it originally right. was. Child, all she had to do was put some contour on that thing and keep it moving. Yeah, for real. Right. I don't even see what's the difference. Yeah, you can know. I'm Seriously, like, just contour. You can do so much with yeah. makeup. For anybody who's thinking yeah. about surgery with your face, not that serious. Like, there's so much you can do that you don't need to go there. But I want to say this is, is that it's first of all, it's your body, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. You have the right to do whatever you want. Yes, you don't owe sir. anybody an explanation yes, for sir. anything. You don't have to say that you went through. Like, you can do whatever you want. However, I do believe that if you go get something done, you have to be super educated about the side effects and what turns out if it doesn't go the way you wanted. And then number two, just make sure that when you fix what you need on the outside, that you fix what is needed on the inside. Because when you fix the outside, it doesn't always fix the inside. You know what I'm saying? They keep changing things and then they look worse than they did before. I I think she was just trying to compete. And ain't nothing wrong with saying, you know what, this is a hard, hard, hard thing I'm trying to do. Um, in this industry, and I want to compete now, and I want to look my best. What's wrong with that? What you is ain't got wrong with to, that. Yeah, yeah. You know, if that's what you want to do, girl, yeah. do it. <laughs> totally for it. Now, recently, Cosmo had some very funny and sweet boyfriends dress up as their ladies' favorite throwback heartthrobs, and the results were hilarious. You guys have to check this out. Take a look at this guy dressed up like Jonathan Taylor oh. Thomas, JTT. <laughs> oh, my God. This handsome fella dressed up like Usher. No. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. And this boyfriend dressed up like Andrew uh, okay. Keegan. Well, he tried. Oh, God. Yeah. You know. Now, Tamara. What? This got me thinking. What? Oh, my God. Uh, who got your heart throbbing when you were growing up? <laughs> you guys want to know a fun fact? Yeah. I what? do. I actually dated Andrew Keegan for a little oh, bit. Oh. Throw that picture up. Sure Where's Andrew Keegan? Oh, him? The, oh, the, the last guy. Yeah. The cute. last. The guy on the left. Oh, with y'all. the long hair. The guy on the left. Wait, okay. Child. I don't know. We yeah. all went through that little stage, I guess. Yes. Oh my God. You know what who was, I was it like did? dating? I'm sorry. No. What go, was go. it like dating heartthrob? It was interesting because there's a lot. I'm gonna use that word again. There's a lot of hatred because a lot of the girls are looking at you like, oh, oh, 
how did you get him? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh my gosh. Uh, we just went on a, a, a cruise together. A um, cruise? With other kids. Oh, and yes, okay. Okay. How old were called you? Sail with the Stars. Oh, I'm down. Oh. Do you really think my mom would let me go on a cruise <laughs> by myself? I, I Damn, did he try to kiss you? Uh, he was a gentleman. No, he did not. We didn't really last that long, though. How old was he, though? Um, I don't remember. I remember I was like 17. I think he's a little bit older than I am. 16, 17. Ew. Oh. Yeah. Oh. But my serious, and like my ultimate heartthrob. No. At 17, he was. Oh my God, he was you guys. To try to kiss you. Uh, <laughs> but I absolutely loved Michael Jackson during the Thriller oh, days. Oh. Yeah, remember that? Yes. I. Oh. Oh. My heart throb <laughs> growing up, new kids on the block. Oh, yeah. That's yes. great. Yes, that was, that was great great one. One. Okay, and I like Donnie. Donnie was my favorite. Donnie was, like Donnie. Donnie was thug life. I was here for he it. Was. I really liked new kids on the block. I was hanging tough. I, I was hanging <laughs> tough. Who's yours? Tay. Now, you know, first of all, you know I like me a little thug in my life. Hey, that's before I got saved. Okay. And so. My heart throb, y'all, it was all three of them. It was H-Town, especially that show. No! What? Oh! Oh! I was in track. Wait, you want to hear the worst part? Wait, take my oh. part. What's the worst part? I did this. I looked back and I couldn't figure out which one was the group H-Town. Yes. <laughs> I was say, I thought I was going to marry Shazam. Really? Which one yeah. is that? Which one is he was the... the, the the, the twin, one the and I'm telling you right now, he was the sexiest singing his thing on TV, baby. And then that his pelvic thrust game. Uh oh. <laughs> I want to see. <laughs> that girl's a fool. Oh, that girl's yeah, a fool. Right. That girl's a fool. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. My heart throb when I was yeah, growing yeah, up. Yeah, somebody I can relate okay. to. Yeah, okay. come on. Bobby Brown. Come on. Now. Okay. <laughs> veggies are for us. We still have one or two picky eaters in our lives, but truthfully, the picky eater might even be you. <laughs> Today, we're hooking you up with some veggified meals that are so tasty, you won't even know you're eating healthy. It's time to reveal these veggies in disguise. <laughs> about this, because this could get anybody's health back on track. Well, Munchkin, my dish will not be what you're used to. It's actually a twist on a favorite bar food, buffalo wings. Yum. Oh. Yes. The only thing missing are the wings themselves. That's because I'm swiping them out for... A veggie. Oh. <laughs> Here's how to make spicy buffalo cauliflower. First, spray a baking sheet with cooking oil so that the ingredients don't stick. Mm -hmm. Now let's get cracking. In a medium bowl, whisk together baking flour, uh, about three quarters, with a cup of water, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon, both of salt and pepper, and you just whisk it away like this. You mix, mix it thoroughly, try to at least get a nice little coating. Now, you add two heads of cauliflower. <laughs> They're cut into bite-sized pieces like this. And make sure each of the florets are covered. Mm. Yeah, you just cover it up. Now spread the cauliflower onto the baking sheet. Gonna add it on here. Let them bake in 450 degree oven until they're lightly brown like this. Okay. All right. Ooh, and this should take about 20 to 25 minutes. Now in a saucepan, I've melted two tablespoons of butter uh -huh. over medium heat. Once the butter is sizzling, stir in about a half a cup 
Yes, oh. those sizzle, baby. Yum. Of, um, hot sauce. I like Ooh, hot, yummy. hot sauce. Like Frank? You know about that hot sauce. Hot sauce in my bag. <laughs> Sweat. And two teaspoons of honey. That gives you that oh, sweetness. Oh, yeah. We're going to turn this down. And then you make sure the mixture is smooth. Oh, that's Now, for the final so touches, pour the mixture we just made over the brown cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> Like this. Oh, this oh, is so wow. good. Yummy, now, Lottie, yummy. if you really want to coat it, you put that cauliflower inside that saucepan. Hey, exactly. uh -huh. Tay, you the cook. You know how we do it, OK? Yep. <laughs> Bake this for more than about 10 minutes, and it should come out after you're done like oh, this. Oh, wow. Yum. Ooh. That looks so good. I'm going to dig in. I can't wait. Oh, my gosh, it's so crispy. You want to try one, too? Really good. Really funny. I would not miss the chicken wing part. Yeah. This is so good. I'm really good. You did that. What you cooking this over is there? Amazing. You got something else over there that's looking delicious. Yes, I'm gonna keep it's my this. turn. I'm really excited about it. They say vegetables and dessert shouldn't mix, but there are two ingredients that have been in an undercover relationship. It's chocolate and zucchini. Oh, friend. Who would have thought, right? So I'm making something that will satisfy your chocolate craving and count as one of your daily veggie servings. Check this out. I'm making zesty zucchini brownies. <laughs> Trust me on this one, ladies. First, you're going to mix in a large bowl together a half a cup of vegetable oil, two cups of sugar, and two teaspoons of vanilla until smooth. I'm gonna mix it like this. Then you're gonna mix in two cups of flour, half a cup of cocoa powder, Ooh. one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. Next, you're gonna carefully fold in two and a half cups of shredded zucchini. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so wrong, but I believe it's going to taste so right. Yes, it is. <laughs> then you're going to add half a cup of walnuts. And you're going to make sure this is mixed really, really well. And then you're going to spread this mixture in a grease pan and bake for 25 to 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Once you're done with this, believe it or not, <laughs> they'll look like this. Really? I'm just saying. All right. Girls, taste this chocolate and zucchini love child hey, guys, and tell me what really, you think. It really is moist. It is. Let me see, taste it. This is bomb. This is so good! <laughs> now, as the Reels resident selfie queen, huh. I think I may know a thing or two about taking a good picture. Now, I have the worst conditions for a photo, but boom, I could turn it into a post-worthy selfie that doesn't have me looking straight crazy. <laughs> Now, we've noticed some of you need help with the posting part, like knowing when to post and when to delete. <laughs> you don't have to post everything, people. Pay attention, because we're about to filter you. It's time for Insta Slam. <laughs> We checked out your Instagram accounts, and let's just say some of you should be ashamed of your selfies. <laughs> yes, yes, you got yes, so <laughs> yeah, jokes. Kill the lights, ladies and gentlemen. Let's find our first perk. write you a ticket because we've got some questions. Lines. The first violation Chill. being you in this onesie. Oh. Wow, oh, my. What That's in the me. world was you doing there? David. Are you levitating? How are you floating? How'd you do that? He jumped up, looks like it. You just jumped and got the shot just right. Yeah, Kodak. But you Boom. look so calm. Uh -huh. like that. How do you look so calm? When I jump, I'll be like, ah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you jumped and we're like, Wait, it teach me how to do that. How do you do that? Like, I don't know. Do it, do it. One, two, three. Okay. Just, okay. And then just Kodak. Right. And, and then just Kodak. And then the onesie. What, explain that. I mean, to be honest, it's 2016. 
Like, if you ain't got no onesie, then you ain't living. I'm right there with you. All day. Well, at least your abs look right. Yeah. Right. He made that onesie sexy. All right, now let's see who's committing the next crime of the camera. Wow. Girl, what? You listen. There are Whoa. several shades of wrong in this picture. <laughs> now, I mean, on one hand, it's like protection from all the cooties in the air, but you know, and I'm with you on that. But on the other hand, girl, like it looked like you like ninja. Like what you got going on here? Hey, I was cute still. Okay, my DMs was still popping. <laughs> <laughs> so. I was studying, get, um, getting through my finals. Okay. I had a 20 page paper to write. Okay. Ooh. So sometimes you just gotta get in the zone and say, go full throttle ninja and just get. Like Mortal Kombat. Yes. 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 Remember Mortal Kombat? Yes, exactly. But okay. what is it? It's actually a breathing mask. I oh. thought you was Darth Vader's baby sister. I <laughs> Hey, what did you get on your paper? Did I you got an A. I like it. She got an A. Good job. My goodness, so many selfies, so many shenanigans. Let's check out one more. Who's up next? Okay, me and Adrian always have ugly face contests. You take the cake on this yeah. one. Yeah. What is that? Wow. Why? Well, um, we were at my sister and I, that's my sister right there. She's Hi, making sis. the face behind me. She was actually, we were actually watching you guys and we wanted to mimic you guys doing the British accents and things. So that's just a face I make when I'm doing a British accent. That, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So your British accent comes with that face? Yes, yes, all day. Can I, can I see it? Oh. <laughs> Can you put me to the loo? Oh my God. <laughs> no, give oh it up. God. That's a really good accent and a good thing. Good job. She won, Adrian. She won. She won. Now, y'all know we love our men, and we love it when they look good. But let's face it, sometimes they just need a woman's touch. That's all. So when it comes to grooming and skin care, they often think beauty treatments are just for us ladies. Lies. So today we're going to show you how to make your man feel like he stepped into his own personal spa. Tell him to sit back, relax, and chill because it's time to pamper your man. Yeah! All right, so to help us out today, we have some fine gentlemen who are going to let us pamper them. Now, Tamara, yes, us I am. women, and as women, we like to take really good care of our hands, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, the guys tend to let this little area go. I don't know why, but y'all do, and I don't know why y'all leave them dirty, <laughs> and y'all skin gotta be rough all over y'all hands. Yes. So, Tim, what can we do to pamper our men in this area? Okay, Tay-Tay, if your man works hard all day, it's important to show him a little tea. LC. So, I'm gonna show you how to soften up your man's hands with the ultimate manicure. I've got Andrew here to help me bring a whole new meaning to manhandling. So, you're gonna start by wrapping his hands with a warm, damp towel. Then, you're gonna rub his hands and cuticles with warm olive oil and some honey. But first, we're just gonna mix this. Make sure you mix it well. Then, we're going to pour it onto his hands and his cuticles, like that. Mm -hmm. It's nice, the olive oil will soften his hands and the honey will lock in the moisture, okay? I like then, that. you like that? Yeah. You like that? It's okay. Great. <laughs> <laughs> then you're just gonna wipe his hands clean and use unscented lotion for the final pampering touch. You wanna use unscented lotion because most men don't wanna walk around smelling like a bouquet of flowers, it's correct? True. This is and true. there you have it. That's it. So, Andrew, tell me, how do you feel? How does it feel? It feels good. Can I come back next time? Of 
course. Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, right <laughs> there. <laughs> Work it out, Tamara. His hands has been handled. Yes. Now, Lonnie and Agent has been waiting backstage to show off their pampering technique. Ladies, what you got for me, gals? Yeah. We are here with my man, Jared. How you doing, Jared? Great. We're going to show you guys how to do a chest exfoliating. Yes. Scrub. It's a yes. Scrub situation. Scrub it because down. Because sometimes men forget, you know, to take really good care of their skin. And when we say their skin, that means their whole body. So most of them are just like soap and water kind of guys. Would that be you? Yeah, that's it. Soap water. That's all. Exactly. Well, not anymore. Because with my tip, you won't be able to keep your hands off of this body. <laughs> it's all about exfoliating. So you're going to start by taking some juice from a lemon and you're actually gonna pour it in there just like that. Then you're gonna take a cup and a fourth of Epsom salt and you're gonna add that into some water and two tablespoons of olive oil just like this. Now you can do it on dry skin, but I think it works better when you've got a little moisture. So Lonnie, help a sister out and give him a little squirt. Lonnie. It ain't gonna hurt. You know, wet him down. <laughs> then you guys, you're gonna scrub this on his chest for a couple of minutes. You see that scrub right there? Yeah, let That's me help. Going on. Help me out, girl. We're just gonna, we're gonna <laughs> scrub it in there. Yes. Damn. <laughs> Just like that. Now, the that? lemon juice refreshes and tones his skin. And the Epsom salt, you guys, it actually helps sloth away <laughs> dead skin. Love See it. that? Like that. We looking good back here, Tay. <laughs> you guys are missing out on all the fun. <laughs> back to you guys on stage. All right, thanks, Lonnie and Asia. Now, I know you enjoyed that, Lonnie, with that water dripping all over that man body. <laughs> all right, now, Jeannie, I hear you got a way to make your man's cheeks kissably soft after a close shave. Now, how are you going to do this? I want to see this myself. Me too, Tay. <laughs> now, my favorite part of the spa is the cucumber water. So I have a way to turn that into a manly aftershave that will make his skin feel ultra soothed. So you blend together half of a cucumber and a fourth a cup of mint extract, just like this. Then you add a half a cup of water to the mixture and you microwave it for two minutes. Gets it all gooey together. Once it's cooled, you get to the fun part, applying it. So, <clears throat> Alante, yes. you're going to love this. <laughs> Here we go. The cucumber is rich in vitamin K, which helps refresh tired, irritated skin. And the mint has antibacterial oh. properties, which keep your man safe if he nicks himself. How are you feeling, Alante? <sighs> Heavenly. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> well, I think we're good here, aren't we? Yeah. Ready? <laughs> Same time next week? All right, Alante. Yeah. <laughs> now, we'll see if your man will be perfect to perfection.